TV News, March 8, 2011, 9 p.m. Good evening. The popular uprising which affected the eastern Ukraine at the beginning of the week has stepped up and is gradually spreading to the rest of the country. Martial law has been decreed, but the army is overstretched and, for the moment, totally incapable of coping with the situation. Now, live from Permavesk, our reporter Amanda Summer. Amanda? Yes, Steve, exactly. Vladimir Karpov, the leader of the revolutionary movement, expressed himself today in a press release which asks the people, and I quote, to come over to his cause, which is to free the Ukraine from the yoke of the tyrant Vladko. His militias already cracking down extremely violently on the Ukrainians who refuse to join the movement. For his part, the Ukrainian president, Ivan Vladko, gave a short televised speech from the presidential palace in Kiev. In the course of this speech, he reaffirmed that he was innocent of the accusations that are being made against him and which started the crisis. Political analysts are wondering just how much longer President Vladko will manage to resist the pressure being put upon him by revolutionaries. Hello, General. As you've seen, the Ukraine is being laid waste. The ICP must intervene. The Ukrainian populations need us. So ICP troops are going to be sent in, and we're entrusting their command to you, General. I know that you're familiar with the ICP's role. All the same, I'd like to remind you that we're going over there not only to make war, but also to restore peace. So yours is a double mission. You must come to the aid of civilian populations in distress and intervene to confront Karpov's rebel troops. You should know that the media, and hence the public, will follow our actions very attentively. The ICP is duty-bound to be beyond reproach, both in its aid missions for civilian populations and in its military interventions. The ICP's reputation depends on it. But follow me into the staff room. I'll explain to you in detail the operation we're going to mount. Hello, General. Your first operation will take place in the Ukraine. Karpov's troops are holding the region. Their mobile anti-aircraft batteries prevent us from coming in by air. Your job is to make the zone secure, preparing it for a forthcoming armed intervention. Now it's up to you and your boys to track down those goddamn batteries and knock them out. Just one point to make about the humanitarian situation, General. Our services have located whole columns of civilian refugees. They're all the Ukrainians who are opposed to the revolutionary movement. Karpov and his militia have invited them by force to move out. It's vital for the media to cover the Ukrainian crisis. That's why you must pacify the zone. We hope that this media presence on the ground will help limit the rebels' abuses of power. General, your enemies will be posted on the heights, giving them a not inconsiderable advantage. So you too should try and take full advantage of the hilly terrain. We're counting on you.
Let's get going! Go! Let's get going! Mission accomplished. Good work, General. You've made the zone secure. We've got a better view around the village of Permavase now. <laughs> 